Hi everybody, I'm Mike Mahoney and I'm a production wood turner and I'd like to introduce to you six new tools that are being made by Henry Taylor Tools. These tools are the tools that I use here in my business every day and they're a culmination of many years of production work here in my own shop plus being very fortunate to work with some of the best pros from around the world. Let's take a real close look and see what these tools do for us. Well, I brought you here into my office to give you a unique perspective of what these tools do for us. The first tool I want to talk about is the 5 8 inch bowl gouge. I call this bowl gouge the wood beater. What this tool does for us is it manipulates the wood into the shape that we want it. And the beauty of this tool is the heft of it is 5 eighths of an inch. Therefore, when we're doing big cutting jobs, we don't get a lot of fatigue in our arms. Also, the tool is made of 2060 tool steel. Well, this tool steel holds an edge better than any tool steel that I've ever come across. Therefore, I don't have to grind as much. Let's take a closer look. Okay, this is our 5 8 inch bowl gouge here. Let's look at the profile. Now, the angle of the bevel here is about 40 degrees, maybe a hair duller than that, and the cutting edge is at that same angle. And notice I've cut away a little bit of this bevel here to make it shorter. Not terribly important on a big gouge like this, but it still comes in handy. Let's look at what this tool in action. Okay, here's the 5 8 inch bowl gouge here in action. You can see I'm taking some really hefty cuts here and I'm not getting a whole lot of vibration in my hands and that's because of the heft of the tool here and I really appreciate that. Now, I'm just it, taking care of the exterior of a bowl here but this tool will handle any job that has bulk removal in mind just before you get to the designing portion of your turning. Let's take a look at the 3 8 inch bowl gouge and what it does. Okay, here's our 3 8 inch bowl gouge now. I call this tool the cleaner because it does very fine clean cuts. Let's look at the profile now. The profile of this tool is identical to the wood beater. The angle on the bevel is 40 degrees and the cutting surface here is 40 degrees as well. But notice a very short bevel on this tool, less than an eighth of an inch. And you can even get it shorter depending on the project that you want this tool to do. Let's take a close up of what this tool does for us. Okay, here's our 3 8 inch cleaning tool doing the interior of the top two thirds of, of a bowl. So basically here on the rim, I'm going to start a cut and there's an interior curve and that shorter bevel allows me to get around that interior curve. If the bevel was long, I'd have a, a bunch of series of marks going across that surface. Having the shorter bevel really helps me here on making this cut. So I'll start with the point touching the wood first so it doesn't rip across the rim and then get a nice smooth curve all the way through. And of course this tool will do many other types of cuts for wood turning. Let's get on to our half inch bowl gouge that I call the bottom feeder. It has a traditional grind as you can see on here. Basically it has no fingernail. The edge here is almost 90 degrees to this surface. The beauty of this design here is it cuts wood cleaner. However, it's not as versatile as our fingernail grind, but you'd like to have a tool like this to cut really hard timbers that are hard to cut clean, maybe curly grain or burl or whatever. This will cut the job cleaner. Now let's look at this tool in action. Okay, in this sequence here, I'm going to use our bottom feeding tool to cut the bottom third of the interior of the bowl. When you come across this surface here, your tool sees a lot of end grain. And the traditional grind on this tool handles that end grain fiber better than a fingernail grind. So you start here on the bottom third, work all the way towards the interior. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, this will always cr lay down the wood a lot better than a round nose scraper in this case. And by adjusting the angle of the bevel, depending on the depth of this bowl, I can always run a bevel through the interior. That's the beauty of this tool. And of course, it will also handle any other cut that requires uh, laying down the fiber cleanly when a fingernail grind won't do the job. Okay, let's get onto our half inch bowl gouge here that I call the shear shaper. It's a shear scraping tool. And notice the very long cutting edge here. The longer and steeper this angle is, 
the steeper I can get it to the surface of the wood, which will give me a cleaner surface as I cut. This tool takes very light cuts, and I put a lot of pressure on the tool rest as I work with it. Let's take a look at this tool in action. Okay, notice the steepness of the tool here. As it's cutting the surface here, I'm just grazing the exterior here, getting very light fiber coming off. Now, I don't push very hard against the wood. I put more pressure on the tool rest while I'm working with this tool and just ride a nice smooth line across that profile. That's what this tool works good for. Now you can see another action. You don't even have to touch the bevel. It's just a sharp edge touching the wood. Okay, let's get on to my favorite tool here. This is called the double-ended resolver. The beauty of this tool is it has a spindle gouge on one side and a bowl gouge on the other as you flip it over. This is a quarter inch tool and this is for doing very light detailed cuts. Let's see this tool in action. Okay, here's one side of the gouge here, the spindle side, just doing some light cutting here. And this wood, I'm doing the bottom of a, of a canister here, this wood is very hard to cut. So what I'm going to do is use a spindle gouge here to start the cut and do my little details and if I don't get a clean cut I'm going to flip it over and use the traditional gouge. The drawback to the traditional gouge is I can't get into this little corner here so I'll just have to get my tool as sharp as I can to make that last little cut. Let's see how clean this cut becomes. I think you're going to see, look at all that torn grain there. That is what a fingernail gouge does for you on wood that doesn't cut very clean. There's a spindle gouge. Let's go to the traditional gouge here. Just flip the tool over and try this cutting edge to see what happens. And I'll actually cut on this direction here because I'm going to reverse the lathe uh, just because this makes the tool a little easier to use pushing in that direction. So I just cross the axis of the lathe here. Let's take a look and see what this cut does for us. And again, I won't be able to get back into that little corner. I'll have to use the spindle, spindle gouge to get there. That wing could hit there and that's the problem. So I stopped, flipped it over, and now just cut that last little bit. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, the wood's smooth as silk now compared to what we had. That's the beauty of this tool. Now, if you want to put a handle on it, that's your choice. Uh, I just use it without a handle because it's just made for very light duty cutting. Well, the only tool that I haven't talked about that Henry Taylor's is making is this quarter inch spindle gouge. It's basically the same end that's on my double ended resolving tool on the spindle side. It's a good all around quarter inch spindle gouge and of course it has a handle here if you need a little bit more support for your cutting. Well in order to grind all these tools I'm going to direct you to a YouTube video. Go to Mike Mahoney Tool Design and Grinding and you can see how I grind all these tools and of course that are all easy to duplicate with a jig. Well I hope you like the tools as much as I do. Keep on turning.